in this video, we are going to discuss what to do if your ship is dead in the water while the engineers are doing their very best to solve the problem while they fix the generators or something in the engine room, okay? What is the job of a deck officer, okay? In this video, we'll discuss about those. Let's crack into it. There are two stages of being dead in the water. First stage is open sea, okay? Or maneuvering or restricted waters. But first, let's discuss open sea, okay? What's the first step that you need to do, okay? First step is modify the status of your ship, the uh, uh, status of your ship from the AIS to not under command, okay? Make sure that the uh, even though you are at open sea as a uh, seafarer's etiquette, you've got to declare in the AIS or automatic identification system that your ship, that your vessel is not under command. Probably uh, you are undergoing repairs, which you are actually. Okay, they would see uh, uh, two red lights in your mass, uh, in your uh, on top of your bridge. Okay, they would see that. Oh, okay, uh, this ship is not under command. Probably they've got engine trouble. Maybe they've got steering trouble also, so I should keep clear, okay? That is one of the many rules in uh, call regs, okay? You have to declare your ship as not under command, okay? Number two is check if steering is available, okay? Oh yeah, by the way, before we go with on this one, okay? I just want to add, uh, details about not under command are uh, discussed further in uh, call regs, okay? I think uh, it would be a lot better if you have more background in call regs, okay? So let's proceed in number two. Number two is check if steering is available, okay? If in the bridge, the helm is no longer responding, your steering wheel, okay? That's what we call it in the bridge. If your helm is no longer responding, you've got to go down, okay, in the steering gear room. And we've got a solenoid valve in there, and you can use this tiny little pin to uh, push the solenoid valve and then manually the rudder will move, okay? You've got your compass uh, inside the uh, steering gear room. You've got your compass. You've got your telephone, okay? In case that uh, it's still noisy and sometimes VHF radio is not working because the signal is being blocked by a lot of obstruction. Metals, rooms, okay? It's being blocked. So you do really need to have telephone, okay? So that's number two, okay? Number three is this. While the engineers are working, okay, doing their very best to uh, fix their engines, as a deck officer, you need to report your situation if, if, okay, the engineers are taking time, okay, report situation to nearest coast station, okay, they need to know what's going on with your ship, okay, if you ask, uh, probably chief engineer, okay, the, you would ask them, uh, chief, how long is it gonna take, uh, is it gonna take to you know, fix the engine or fix the generator? Oh, uh, um, probably we need more five hours, five hours, five hours, okay. Then you're gonna wait, wait, and then the sixth and the seventh hour, it's still not fixed, then you've got a serious, serious problem. You've got to call the nearest coast station, okay? Uh, pull out your Admiralty radio signals and, uh, uh, your handbooks to contact the nearest uh, station, know their frequency, know their telephone number, you've got your satellite uh, telephones, okay? And uh, you have to pull out your GMDSS skills, okay? Now, these are the three optional methods that you have to do, okay? Now, there is a, in every company, there is an emergency form, EMG form, okay? It states what kind of procedures that you need to take when your ship has experienced sudden emergencies, piracy, dead in the water, fouled anchor, uh, dropped anchor accidentally, uh, let's say collision, okay, oil spill, okay, you've got your EMG form. Now you've got to search for your EMG form regarding dead in the water and then follow the steps. One of the many steps is, again, if it's the engineer said five hours, but it took them more than seven hours to fix it, I mean, you've got to report that to the company, okay? Report the situation to your company, and then, okay, report to the coast station and then request for ocean tugs. You're in the middle of, let's say, for example, Pacific Ocean. You've got to request for ocean tugs or else how am I, how, how, how on earth are you going to be able to continue your voyage, okay? So these are your steps for open sea. Okay, but what about for, now this is a bit complicated, okay, this one's a bit tighter and a bit
bit more difficult. Okay? Now, this is the complicated bit. Okay? What if you experience being dead in the water in restricted waters? Shallow waters, uh, full of traffic within the channel. This is the part that you don't want to experience. In my case, we did experience it. Okay? So, what are the steps that you need to do? Okay? First one, you've got to check if the steering gear is available. Check if your steering is still available, your hydraulics are still working. Just, uh, uh, test your uh, uh, helm. Make sure that they are working. The turn indicator is still working. Okay? And number two is, you've got to keep clear. Okay? If you are within the uh, traffic separation zone or the TSS or the traffic separation scheme, within your chart, if you check your chart, there is this violet line. Okay? This separates the forward lane and the lane on the other side. Okay? There are two lanes, for example. Okay? And then, there's this line that separates both lanes, okay? The other is going north, the other lane is going south, okay? Now, there are cases that the lane is, let's just say, there is a wide area or a, a wide separation line, okay? You've got to understand that, okay, if situation arises, your ship cannot keep clear, okay, of the lane, you've got to turn your ship on the side of the TSS or the traffic separation scheme or the traffic separation line, okay? No choice, okay? You've got no choice. However, if you do that, you need to immediately report to pilot station, okay? Uh, examples of uh, pilot station channels is, uh, let's say, channel 13, okay? Or maybe the coast station at VHF channel 16, channel 16, okay, on VHF. Okay, you've got to report immediately that your vessel has experienced a uh, engine failure or maybe uh, you're dead in the water all of a sudden or your steering gear pump is not working. Depends on the situation, okay, but you've got to report immediately to the pilot station, okay, and then if... Uh, situation doesn't really improve, okay? Request for tugs, okay? You could call them for tugs. And don't forget to modify your ship to not under command, okay? You've got to know that, or, or I should say, uh, raise the not under command flag. Also, uh, if it's dark, you have to raise the, uh, or you have to turn on the lights for are not under command, okay? Two red lights, okay? And if you are not making way, you've got to, if you're not underway, you've got to turn off the side lights, okay? But at least people know that your vessel is having difficulties, okay? So you will not block the entire uh, uh, channel lane or the shipping lane, okay? And last but not least is this one is optional. Okay, you see here, okay? It's it's the same procedure, optional. You could prepare company EMG form, report to company, or request tug. Okay? I mean, this video should not be viewed by many, but in case, in case, okay, things like this happen to you, eh, you know what to do. Okay? Now, I would be posting a lot of... Uh, training videos or coaching videos about preventing accidents or what to do within accidents, okay? So again, hope you've learned something new. Be happy, be healthy, and most importantly, to God be all the glory. Keep safe.